Anyway, so ba -da -ba -dum -bum -bum. oh, hello and welcome back to the K6 project. It's been absolutely months since I've done the video. Um, I've got no real excuses for it, other than um, you know we, we've had sort of uh, COVID one, two, three, possibly four. Who knows? Uh, with this Delta variant, but. Um, you know, I've fallen behind in my numbers, so I decided just to sort of crack on and get on with things. So, uh, yeah, I have been, and I'm hopeful that I'll reach the thousand boxes uh, this year. Um, I don't know if you'd watched an earlier video where I talked about um, reaching my thousandth box by the end of the first year, which was September last year. Um, so, I've managed to do just over 800 boxes so far this year and we're into mid-August. So that's one of the reasons why I haven't been doing videos. Um, I think the second one is I, I really didn't have much to say. I'm not sure I really do have much to say to be quite honest but um, you know Every now and again I get a message from somebody that says we really enjoyed your video. So, um, yeah, well if you want to listen to me drone on, then drone on I shall. Okay, back again. Slightly different camera angle yet again. I've no idea if my face is in focus or not. Maybe the top of my head is missing. Um, either way, let me tell you about what I've been up to. So I was going through a few... Um, websites of other people who do box spotting and I came across what's best described as a tree of telephone boxes in a village called Hurley in Warwickshire and that got me thinking um, and I was okay uh, so it, it's a steel structure with an upright telephone box and then two boxes uh, sort of like 45 degrees so I spoke to a couple of friends on Facebook and they oh no no that, that got removed because they didn't get he didn't get planning permission for it. So I didn't think any more of it. And then the um, curious me decided, you know what, I'll go and street view the village of Hurley anyway. It's not a big village and it's not too far away from me. It's only like 15 minutes down the road. So uh, I street viewed it and lo and behold I came across the location where this tree, if, is the, if that's how we want to describe it, uh, was and um, it didn't have a tree but what it did have was four boxes in a field of After with 500 yards turn right <laughs> then you have reached your destination. I'll come back to you on this because I, I can actually see the next box from here. But uh, yeah, it's an interesting story. I'll come back to you. Okay, folks. So, as always, I'm rambling on and uh, looked at the camera, which is, you know, I'm driving, so I try not to look at the camera, and it shut down. The battery was flat. So, I don't know where I got to, so I'm going to start that again. Right. Um, so, in, in uh, hopefully the part that did, was recorded, I was talking about the visit to Hurley and how I'd uh, uh, been curious and looked on uh, Google Street View and had seen four boxes. So, as it was only like 15 minutes away, I jumped in the car and drove on down there. And as I turned into the road, which I think was called Dexter Lane, something like that, um, I could see the Springfield Stables, which was the uh, what I'd seen on Street View, where there was this row of boxes off to the left-hand side. And lo and behold, there was a house on the right, also with a red phone box in the front garden. So it was like, blimey, five red telephone boxes, all private, obviously, in one little village. So... Uh, I, I pulled out one of my little uh, business card thingy bajigs I have, um, which hang on, one of one of one of one of one of one of these that's got a few details on the back about uh, what it is that I'm doing, and I find it useful to break the ice when you know somebody sort of like what what on earth are you doing? You know, do you work for BT? Are you going to remove the box? Are you scouting out to steal it or something along those lines? Which yes. Some people do think like that. Um, anyway, so bum bum bum. Anyway, so bum bum bum. 
knocked on the door and uh, this gentleman answered and uh, I would imagine he was in his 80s and uh, I, you know, sort of chatted to him for a few minutes and sort of said, you know, what it was that I was doing. And, oh, come in, come in, let me show you all my photo albums. And it was like, uh-oh, what have I done here? But um, no, he was, he was a very pleasant, uh, nice chap and uh, he had a complete photo album of all press cuttings of the telephone boxes when they were in this Y sort of formation and uh, he, he was it was a double-edged sword story he was telling me because the um, press had got hold of At the, the, end uh, of the road, story turn right that um, he had put these boxes up and that there'd been complaints from neighbours and that the local authority uh, hadn't been given notification so he was having to put a retrospective Turn planning right. application in um, and obviously it drummed up a bit of um, yes we like it no we don't like it from various peoples and bodies um, in the end cut a long story short we had to take it down um, but not before he'd had like German television visit him, the BBC had visited him, uh, various newspapers had, had written stories up, etc. And he had all these little press cuttings for it. And it, it was a shame because he doesn't do the internet or, or have, even have a mobile phone, so I couldn't show him uh, what I was doing apart from sort of like trying to show him on my camera which was which was pointless anyway let me take all the photographs of the boxes and showed me around his little stables and the little boxes he had and um, and then he, he sort of stumbled across this idea he said well look I'll be honest I'm, I'm thinking of changing the boxes and I've got this idea if I said the word solstice to you what's the first thing that comes to mind so I just went, Stonehenge, and he went, no, Phonehenge, and I'll say After no more. After 300 yards, you have reached your destination. So, um, I've, I've no idea what will or won't happen there at some point in the future. Um, I don't know if he needs planning permission or anything. Very interested. So that's the box I need to stop at. So I'm not stopping. I'm going to go and turn around. Um, so it'll be interesting to pop back maybe in a year or so and just just see what on earth is going on. You know, um, it's um, it's just one of those very strange stories that you come across every now and again. And it was purely by chance of seeing the photograph of the Y tree on. Um, Rob's website so uh, it, it, it sparked some curiosity in me and it turned out to be a, um, a rather interesting little thing Rob. Anyway um, rambling on so Hurley so um, hopefully during this sort of monologue instead of looking at my ugly mug I'll, I'll, I'll be interjecting a few little pictures of the boxes itself um, including the old picture and at some point I'd like to go back and get some scans of his news cuttings because the only place I found anything was one article from the Daily Mail and the Daily Mail was, you know, the Daily Hate. Uh, it would be better to sort of see what the local newspapers had said, etc. Um, anyway, so uh, an interesting box makes a change from, here's a bit of red with some glass in it.